All right, so welcome to a typical Sunday in my world, I guess. So I uh, have been watching a lot of videos on YouTube about using uh, old PC fans to create power, and a lot of them were using magnets and things, and after a lot of failed attempts at looking at things, uh, the only one that seemed um, like it may actually work, and I didn't bother trying it, um, was the one tiny little magnets on each blade. Um, basically, you place one on each blade on the inside, and on the outside of the fan, you put more magnets, it forces the magnets away. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Um, I decided that uh, we know windmill power works, and I know that wind power works because I've seen windmills working before, uh, like the rest of us. So, what I've done is uh, I took, uh, it's very <laughs> prototypey. I took the PC fan and I took the motor apart. And you can see I glued it here, along with just the power wires, um, the black and yellow in this case uh, came out and I put some longer wires on um, to the through the tube here. And then I broke the bottom part of a plastic co co uh, coat hanger, I guess, and stuck that there into an old CD spindle just as kind of a test and made sure that it kind of sits upright. And I had a shampoo bottle that I took apart and extended the blades to basically help me give it a little bit more movement here. Because um, we need this thing spinning, uh, as it turns out, we need it spinning quite a bit. But uh, and then I cut a slit in the bottom. This is actually a uh, roll from like a saran wrap, and I just put a slit in the back here. It was a little bit more sturdy than a paper towel roll, and that was kind of what we needed. So, and I uh, took a CD and stuck it in there. And basically, what I've uh, I've kind of come up with, and that, that makes kind of a tail, and it makes a bit of a makeshift windmill here. Um, so you, I'll try and show you inside the two, although I don't know if you can see much. Um, all that's in there is that wire kit and the wires coming out of the back. There's no batteries or anything like that. And uh, you can see I've got here the wires coming out, one negative, one positive, and the multimeter showing no power coming out. So I'll, I'll kick the fan on, and you'll notice it'll spin up pretty quickly. Um, even on uh, number one for this happens to be this box fan, but um, you'll see that even with it spinning, it looks pretty well. You, you know, you don't really get much power out of it. Um, this is a, I would say it's probably a normal breeze where I live, um, but you're not going to get any real power out of this, I don't think. Um, if you, I've got it on 9, or 1.5 volts now, I mean, if you're not seeing it there, you're really not going to get any real usable power here. Um, if I kick it up a notch, you'll see it starts spinning considerably more, and all of a sudden the multimeter kicks, and you'll see it doing uh, some power here, and the tail actually does a pretty good job of keeping it pointed where it wants. I, I've got the wires here that yank on it a little bit, because I've got a, this, with this prototype, the wires come out of the back, um, that you'll want them to come down here so that the thing can spin freely, and you don't have to worry about it. I um, suppose you could run it out of the box. And then you kick it up. That's a significant amount of power. Tail doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. 